Okay. So, third season running, Steve, you've got off to a winning start, which is really good. You must be pleased overall with the performance this afternoon. Yes, very pleased, but then I look at Tuesday night and for two years running prior to this year, um, we lost our second game, so a lot of hard work to do for Tuesday. But no, very pleased with today. You know, we had a watch last week, um, they had a couple of players missing. I knew how I could get the better of them, um, and that would be from set pieces, who are a big, strong side, and it worked today. You know, our, our game plan worked from working on Thursday night, so I'm very pleased at that. Once that first goal went in, they seemed to, their confidence seemed to drop quite a bit, I thought. Yeah, it's like anything. If everyone's in, if people stay in the game, they've got half a chance. You know, what you've got to do is get that goal. And you've got the 25 minutes or 20 minutes, and I'm thinking, we need to score. So we had a lot of pressure without them hurting us or getting in behind us. And it just needed that first goal. It calm our nerves as well, you know, because um, we wanted to go to a winning start. I felt if we got our nose in front, you know, we were strong enough and solid enough at the back to, to keep clean sheet, and it, and it worked today, so I was very pleased. Nicky Wheeler deservedly got man of the match. Someone has to get man of the match, but there were some good performances out there all around, weren't there? I thought they all done, even the subs that come on, you know, they're, they're all done very well. Um, they're listening to what we want them to do. It's going to take a little while for certain people to, to get into the ideas that we've got, but they're getting there, and they're getting there slowly. Um, but once we, once we click in a place, I'm sure we'll be all right. Now, without wanting to get you into any kind of trouble, uh, the incident involving Andre when he went down, and we'll talk about the injury in a minute, but what did, do you make of that? Well, from the linesman's side and our side, we thought it was a foul because Andre was in front of him. From what the ref said, he was right on top of it, so I've got to give him credit for that. He said that the player come from the side, not from behind, um, won the ball, and it's how they both landed. Um, and the boy landed on Andre, which was the issue for you, Nuri. And do we know how he is? Yes. Um, takes a gloss off of a good performance today because I've just found out that he's broken his fibula, I believe it is, um, one that he's done before. Um, some ligament damage, maybe, um, uh, probably have to have an operation and we could be missing him for a while. Um, there is talk of three to six months, um, but until we get proper diagnosis and Melvin has a proper look, and you can't tell with breaks and that's why Melvin just took precautions and got him to hospital. They've done x-rays and they've said he's broken his fibula, so... Um, yeah, I'm gutted for him. You know, he started lively, 20 minutes, got his goal. Um, they they couldn't really handle it at one point, no, I thought. No, and, that, and that's that's the my voice may might seem a bit um, down in the dumps really, but I do feel like that. You know, we've had a great performance. Everyone's played their part, um, and then you get news like that. And it happens to us every year. You know, even before I was here, uh, Steve the chairman was telling me that someone gets injured um, and misses the best part of the season and. You know, for him to come in and look sharp in pre-season and get off the mark last week, which was good for him, lifted the weight off his shoulders, gets the early goal today, looked sharp, and then flat the back. And I'm disappointed for him as well as the team, but for him as an individual, you know, you don't need that sort of injury. So we'll take stock of it once we get the full, full information and Melvin can dissect it to me and then I have more information, but it doesn't look good at the moment. OK, let's talk, moving on to Burgess Hill. Um, they took four points off us last season even though they finished in a relegation spot, they've got a reprieve. So not an easy game for us on Tuesday. No, no they play well, they like to pass the ball. Um, they're a good side, it's a small pitch down there. Um, we've got to be on our, on our metal. And that's what I've said every game to the boys in the change room before. You know, we've, got, we've got to start sharp, we've got to manage the game properly. Um, and if we do that, we'll be all right. Uh, but like I say, I'm just this is, uh, very disappointed at the minute about that news I've just heard. Yes, definitely, definitely. Well, well done today anyway, Steve, and good luck on Thanks, Tuesday. Jim. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Well, good start that, wasn't it? Well done. Yeah, good start. What do you think today? Um, yeah, it was a good, good start. I mean, first half, got our traps early, got early goals, which always helps calm the nerves, and I said then we went on from there. Now, I was asking you what was it, 30 assists last season, and um, I actually think you probably didn't actually get me today because yeah, of yeah, the big part, different ways yeah, yeah, parking it for few off me today, but yeah, what we did out there, I mean, we worked on that in training and come off and got goals from it, so. I'm happy as long as we get three points, really. It's very confident start, wasn't it? It was a dominating performance. Could quite easily be more than three. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, in any game, if you get an early goal and you know get a couple in the first half, especially, it does calm the nerves, and then you you know you play from there, and it helped us. And I think we dominated from the moment we got the first goal, then the second, third, and then we just saw it out. 
<coughs> and your particular role uh, today. Um, you do enjoy that sort of trickery role going <laughs> down that left hand side, get the crowd going. We have the yeah. uh, I love Nick Wheeler song again tonight. You enjoy that, don't you? Yeah, no, it's good. I, I mean, I'm all, you know, when I, as I say, when I play here, I'll get the ball in a position I like, which is one on one with a full back. And, you know, play, we like playing wide, and when I get the ball like that, so I like it. And, yeah. Mm. Well, it's good. Almost a perfect day, obviously, apart from a, a bad injury first day of the season to Andre McCoy. Yeah, I'm guided for Andre, absolutely guided for him. I mean, uh, first few games he hadn't scored, and I knew I desperately wanted to score, and then he got a couple the other day, then his first league game he's scored, and then he's gone off with that horrible injury. But, you know, I was running right behind it, and I could see how you know bad it was. I know the kid's gone straight through the back of him, but ref hasn't seen it, and, you know, I'm absolutely guided for it because I think, be, I think it's quite a bad one from what I saw. Yeah, 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 hopefully he'll come back and carry on the form he ended with. Yeah, <coughs> let's hope he's, uh, he's back before too long. Uh, Burgess Hill, Tuesday night, um, yeah. which was the last year. I think um, you all had a bit of a rest for that one, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't play at the end because it, it was right just before the playoffs, so I didn't play in that. But I know I know their ground well. It's quite local to me, and um, yeah, look forward to it. Hopefully, another three points, and you know we got carry on the form from today and take that into Tuesday night, and then hopefully another three points, and that's a good start to the season for us first week. How strong are we this, this season? Do you think? What should we be aiming for? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we were we were strong last year. I think, um, you know, a couple of you know injuries we had last year that I think if we didn't have, maybe we would have pushed on a bit further. Um, but what the gap is gap has added is uh, strong players, and I think you know we can only go on from what we had last year. So hopefully it's you know enough to get us up or at least you know in the playoffs and push for playoffs. Oh, well, exactly. Yeah. Because there's two more yeah. wide players, isn't yeah, it? So it's it. Yeah, both sides. No, it's good. Yeah, I mean, and they both, you know, they both decent. Scans play well. I mean, Bradley's he's quality as well from what I've seen. And um, yeah, it's nice when there's a bit of competition. I mean, yeah, we play better. But um, I'm sure you know whoever plays and whoever does, they give 100. percent It'll be enough to keep getting three points and get us out this out and out this league. Brilliant. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good luck. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Thanks.